Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, I am Titlot and welcome back to Agatha Christie Hercule Poirot, The London Case, where we are going to continue the, six, the chapter 6, The Suspects, where we are trying to find the links between the murder of Mademoiselle Kortsmite and Johan, probably. And we are back here at Johan apartment huh. because... Something is missing that I don't know because well, unfortunately we cannot use the brooch here. Hmm. We got the brooch with us and nothing else. Something is missing that I don't see. Oh. Yeah, that's the dictionary. We know. The engagement ring. Mm -hmm. We've already seen that. There's something missing here that I don't know what is. Maybe notepad? Nope. Hmm, what am I missing here? I don't have any links. Oh, inspect Betty's dressing room. Oh, now we can go to the dressing room. Of course. Of course. No links here. So let's go to the dressing room then. Okay, okay, okay. What do you need? What uh, I need? I need to discuss something with do? you. No, I don't. I will not take up any. Uh, I don't need to discuss anything with you after all so let's inspect the the dressing room we couldn't get there in the last episode but now we can probably and we couldn't talk either with miss betty allen there what do you need what can i do for you nothing i will not take up Okay, let's try to talk to her. You're just full of Hmm, I am, so but I, I don't have any for you today. Yeah, we can go down there. Okay, what are we missing here? I wonder. I saw a key in the safe the first time that we were here. Jewelry box. Oh, we ah. got a combination. Hmm, and I don't know the combination. Must be around here somewhere. Let's go to the safe. Yes, the safe. Hmm. Uh -huh. And I don't know the combination either for this. Can we ask her? I wonder. We have 1412. I remember that date. You're just full of... You from the help. engagement ring that we found in Yohan's apartment. So let's try to do that in the jewelry box. Because the safe combination was letters. And this one was numbers. Oh. One. No, oh, that's hard to... And one again. And 12. Order the metal prevail again, a torn piece of paper, fire to Irene. <laughs> okay. 
This surely cannot be English. Fire five two uh, two five two here I don't know, I don't remember and fire two I N If it is, it's been written by someone that hasn't quite grasped the English language yet. Fire to Irene. Some kind of instruction to commit arson. Hmm. It seems too obvious, but that does not mean it is wrong. Okay. My beloved, as much as it pains to be so far from you, your words are enough at least to give me some comfort. Before you will be before you will be in my arms again, I spoke with my father. He couldn't be happier of us, and we ha we have his blessing. I know you wanted to be here when he we told him the good news, but I just couldn't wait. I have everything crossed for you tonight, not that you need it. Break a leg, mink skacht, clem, yo, Jay. I wouldn't have expected to see such heartfelt words from Monsieur Christiansen even to his wife. Okay. Fire to Irene. Okay. We have to decode that with a dictionary, probably. You're just full of No more questions. You have been most Let's go back to Johan's apartment. What can I do? I will not And it. try to decode that fire to Irene. I think five two five two and I don't something one probably. Let's see. Where is the dictionary? Where is that goddamn dictionary? Huh. Yes. Okay. Four. Two. Hmm. And one. I don't see the other one. Four two one four two something one. Hmm. Four two something one. Oh, use the page. Yes, it fits. Fire to tre en oh its origin cannot be from English language two tre four two three one four two three one Okay now we can look at the safe four two three one Yeah mm. indeed four two three and one. Yes, voila! Let's look at it safe now. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Betty and Johan with the dog. A canine makes for a worthy addiction to any family. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Love letter from Betty to Johan. It is clear that the letter was written some time ago. While they, w they are courting, Madame Allen states that what she values most about him. My dearest Johan, New York just isn't the same without you. In a city full of millions, there is only one that I want by my side. Last night's show was a great hit. I think I have, record, I have the record for longest applaud in the whole show. I miss looking out into that crowd of unknown faces and seeing you staring back. 
just having you close gives me a sense of calm and we both know sometimes I need that. Did you speak with my father's colleague Will Cairns? He will be able to find us the perfect apartment in London. I know we don't have to date a date set in stone yet or a ring, but I just can't wait to spend the rest of my life with the kindest and most honest man. Write me back as soon as you get this. Betty, 3Xs. Cool. Huh. A love letter from another woman. The end written does not match what I have seen of Madame Allen. This must have been... This must have come from another woman. Jay, that day will soon come when we can be together and everything you speak of will no longer just be a dream. Until then, we must continue to keep our relationship hidden. The flowers that arrived at the stu studio for me were beautiful, but signs of affection such as those will surely raise suspicions. And signing your initials, it is mistakes like those that will ruin everything. I will write again when the time is right. Until then, my love, I, XX, I for Irene, I for Irene. Okay, the game didn't, didn't end there, but we got the full discoveries of the thing. Okay, cool. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Now what? Now what? Now we'll, we'll, I will talk with Hastings. What do you need? Oh, the mystery lover was Mademoiselle Court Smite, yeah. The argument with Irene at the gala and then with his wife after. Yes. Madame Allen had uncovered their relationship. But even with this revelation, what still remains a mystery is Monsieur Christiansen's involvement with the theft. Indeed. What do you need? What can I do for you? I will not take... Okay. Nothing more arises now. Hmm. Okay, no more discoveries to be found here. Aha. Not here as well. Yes, it is. We still need a key. It's in that safe, most certainly. Ha. Yes, yes, yes. We've already solved that. And we don't have anything new here. So let's go. Let's go to the theater again. The theater alley. Theater street. And let's see if we can find the safe combination. Probably something to do with Irene. Or even the dog, that dog in the photograph. So let's speak with Betty to uncover something from the dog. You're just full of questions. Yeah, I understand you and your husband own a dog. Yeah, precisely. Oh, you don't just own an animal detective. He's part of our family. Indeed, I agree. Pardon, and his name? His name? Enoch. Enoch. If I ask you the question, what's he got to do with anything? And how do you know about him? Purely curiosity, madame. Enoch. A splendid name for a most handsome dog. Enoch. And it was your husband that mentioned him at the gala. It means faithful in Norwegian. It was Johan's idea. Okay. And it means... You have been most helpful. A religious character as well. Enoch. The Book of Enoch. Which the Catholic, Catholic Church don't recognize as scriptures. But you should read it, guys. If you have the time. 
It's it belongs to the dead dead sc huh. dead sea scrolls. So let's try Enoch. Enoch. Voila! The safe is now unlocked. It contains jewelry and money, as well as Monsieur Christiansen's spare keys. Nice, 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 nice. We got some keys. Probably loose key. Another key, presumably to unlock a door in the apartment. I wonder which door. Of course, we know which door. The music. The music. Um, studio door. The music room door. Cool, man, cool. We are progressing. We are progressing indeed. You're just full of qu Yes, I am. You have been most What do you need? What can I do? Nothing, really? So let's go to back to Yoan's apartment and now we have a key to unlock another door back to Yoan's apartment and let's get that key that door unlocked indeed use the loose key perhaps the key from the mm. safe may be of some use now the search now to search the Monsieur Christiansen music room. Indeed, 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 indeed. Let's rotate this. Let's start from this side. We got a book here. There must be something that fits into this hole. Oh, the brooch. Of course. The brooch. The brooch pin would perhaps fit the hole in the book's cover. Voila! The missing musical piece from Monsieur Christiansen Notepad, I wonder. Did we get anything? Nope. Have we used this? Mm. Okay, I hope the game is not bugged. Ah. I've always enjoyed the rich, rounded tones that a fine pianist can produce. I fear my musical talent will be far from euphonious. What's this? Oh, the penitent Magdalene. Pigments is brighter than it should be. It is subtle, but the pigments do not match. Does not match. The pigment of this paint is brighter than it should be. Yes. Meaning? We have found our second forgery. Huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Poro, the door. Oh. Hello. What are you doing in? Ah. Monsieur Christiansen. Welcome home. I... Uh, um... This doesn't look good, does it? Nope. We have much to discuss. So Mr. Christiansen had an opportunity and a motive, but he continues to deny killing her. Hmm. And still two forgeries remain. I knew it. Pardon, monsieur? I knew that's why she stayed so friendly with her. Irene always said she was besotted. That she could get her to do whatever she wanted. Perhaps you should elaborate on the identity of her? The curator. Hmm. Evelyn, what's her name? She could spot a forgery at 20 yards. What better person to show you the road so you can make your own? If the board of trustees at the museum got wind of this, Miss Warbeck's career would be finished. Indeed. 
And in her own world, if anyone was to jeopardize her career, mm -hmm. she wouldn't be held responsible for her actions. Indeed. It seems Monsieur Christiansen may not be the only person tied to Mademoiselle Goldsmith who has a secret to hide. Yes. Chapter 7! Okay, the secrets. So, this is a short episode because Madame we are. Madame has confirmed the surprise appearance of her husband during the intermission of her show. And as expected, she. Uh... Monsieur Hastings, there is something troubling you? If I may speak freely. You may. You do not have to ask my permission. This is all very overwhelming. We seem to be taking one step forward and two steps back. I can understand your confusion, but you cannot allow it to consume you and your emotions to take charge. Easier said than done. I just... Oui, monsieur? Must you be so hard on her? On who? I presume you refer to Mademoiselle yeah. Farquhar. You talk about emotions not taking charge. She is a suspect in a murder investigation, not a guest at afternoon tea. If Mademoiselle Farquhar is more important than discovering the truth and finding justice... I would have thought you would know better of me by now. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with how you spoke to her. When it is your investigation, you will have the authority to conduct your questioning how you see fit. Until then, I will continue in a manner that has and continues to bring criminals to justice. And I'll just keep my opinions to myself. Yes. You better. Let us focus on the case. What do we know about Mademoiselle Warbeck's relationship with the deceased? Mr. Christensen suggested she had romantic feelings towards Irene. But she was just another of her pawns. She cleaned the master key to hide Mademoiselle Godsmythe's actions. But perhaps she then became worried about her own involvement. Yeah. You think she could have killed her to stop the truth coming out to the trustees? Probably. Which would in turn ruin her career. It is certainly a possibility. Indeed. Chapter 7. The Secrets. And that's where we end off our episode here today, guys. A short one indeed, but a very insightful one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment giving me tips and tricks for this game. Probably you can even spoil by now because I'll be finishing the game once you are seeing this episode. That's for sure. And that's it, guys. I'm Titlar. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow for the next episode of this fantastic point-and-click game. Investigating, investigating game. So, thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye and take care. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Also, read the description below, where you will find ton of useful information and links regarding the contents of this video.